Hey guys, this is Allison from Alley Cat Creations. How are you? I am taking all of my TikTok videos and squishing them together in sections. So if you're not on TikTok, but would like to enjoy what I put out for other people in messaging, they're short little clips, but they're all together. Please go check out this video so that you can see the messages that I give for others. If you are on TikTok, Ali K A T two eleven is my handle, and it would be awesome if you can support me there. I unfortunately don't know what I'm doing with this channel or all my other social medias. I'm getting very burnt out financially. I'm not making anything, which is great, and that's fine, but. Things are hitting home really hard again. So any support would be fantastic. Don't worry if you can't, but getting that like, share, and subscribe out is the most important for me at this point in time. I want to thank all of my subscribers and all the people that watch me and gain some knowledge and wisdom from me. I am so happy to have you in my life. It is beyond measure how important all of you are to me. And I'm going to continue pushing forward with what upstairs missioned me and myself missioned myself to do here on this planet as i'm trying to redefine what abundance and what means of making it in this 3d world looks like it's getting harder and harder and i hit that rock bottom two years ago and it's coming back at me again with me putting in effort every day so I, I, I don't know where I need to change or what direction I need to fly into, but here's a new way of going about things, TikTok shorts and videos. So I hope you guys enjoy. Thank you for your support and enjoy. Bye for now. Blessings and grin rising everybody back on the walking trail. Just did some stretching, some push-ups. Going to do some other things here. And that is also calling in all the light to purify this land. And I brought my tools this time. I just used a tuning fork, some black salt, sage. It's very quiet this morning here. And yeah, sweating my face off. <laughs> What's up, everybody? Oh my gosh, happy 8-8 portal for those of you who believe in such and give to the energies. What is really important today is getting out and grounding, sorry for the shakiness, getting out and doing what's best for you. You know what's best for me? Playing with kittens this morning, well they're not kittens, kitties, cow kitties, and having a nice coffee, drinking a huge water and walking to good music and grounding, bringing in the light, purging, sweating. What is this 8 portal doing for you? Good question. You're the one that makes your reality. So make today a beautiful, blessed day. Go and clear some land if you must. New beginnings, new energy. When we focus on that mindset, we tend to explore beautiful things and a new reality opens up to us once we make those changes in our mindset. So make sure you're changing your mindset. Make sure you're going out and doing something today. Ground, clear, I'm on the altar. I'm bringing in the light, like I said. They're in for a rude awakening. Fuck around and find out, mother effers. So, I hope everybody has a beautiful, expanded Lionsgate 888 portal. Bring in the light. Bring in the change. Be the change. Be the flow. I hear nature and it's beautiful. At peace. I saw a hawk from the trees back there and an owl already today 
Dragonflies are everywhere. It is beautiful. Go discover what 5D frequency is. Raise or elevate yourself. Raise yourself up, guys. And no matter what day it is or what we give meaning to days, make every day count. Show up for yourself each and every day. And make sure that you're working on that mindset. You could say affirmations all day long. You can. Do you actually mean it, feel it, emote it, walk it? There's a difference of saying things, and then there's a difference when you actually believe in them and feel them. There's a key to manifestation. There's a key to your affirmations. Saying things, words can be empty, guys. Are you meaning everything you're saying, but you feel it in your heart? You're walking it. You're emoting it out in your field. Think about it and getting my swole on, getting my muscles back, getting back into shape, sending each and every one of you love, like compassion, grace, shielding, and protective energy. Please go within yourself and align. Feel it. Feel it. Be the shoulder for somebody today. Be the lighthouse. Seed your truths. And know that you are worth it, worthy. And know that you are the one that creates your new beginning. Not some day that we give an assignment to. You are the one that changes that. No one else. So make sure you're having a beautiful day. And I'll see you on the next one. Thank you for supporting me and watching. I love you guys. Bye for now. Grand risings and blessings to everybody. I hope everybody's having a beautiful and fantastic day. Or we're putting that intention to make it so. Um, lots of energy going on. I got very hard hit channeling yesterday. I haven't had this experience before where multiple entities, archangels were working through me. Uh, I know they work with me, but they were like working through me. I had a very interesting night. And one aspect of what little chunk that I got that I want to convey to all of you there's a lot of empty words that are spoken that hold no frequency or meaning behind when someone talks. When you're making an affirmation, when you're saying affirmations, I'm a very big proponent of them. I think they're very helpful. I have them all over my refrigerator. I have a lot of messages all over my house. And that's for me to recognize, to read them, to feel it, to walk it, to emote it, to understand it and project it to the outside manifesting world. But spirit reminded me upstairs, reminded me that most people that read affirmations or just say things to say them to make someone else happy, don't believe what they're saying. You are amazing. Do you believe it? You are worthy. Is that reflecting in how you feel about yourself? Are you courageous? Are you stepping outside your comfort zone and making those changes? Or are you just saying it to say it because I'm going to better myself? Take the steps to first choose affirmations that you actually feel you believe you're going to do and strive for that doesn't mean that every day you wake up and you might not feel beautiful but you are a beautiful soul do you know that do you believe it do you walk it do you project it out make adjustments in your day when you are doing affirmations to really sit and take a step back 
and say, do I believe this of myself? If you don't, if you're doubting yourself, that is room for you and a permission slip for you to go address the problem. Well, why don't you love yourself? Why don't you feel courageous today? Why are you not worthy today? Those are ways to tackle your problems, to tackle with, just be honest, be real with yourself. Hiding a problem, not facing it, running away, it's not necessarily a coward's way out. It's not showing up for yourself. We're at this time and juncture in life that we need to show up for ourselves. We need to build that frequency in the grid, in our anchoring, in all things. So when you're using affirmations, choose the ones you actually believe in, that the words have meaning and weight to them, that they're not empty promises and empty words that will just fly out of your mouth and spell cast. When we say affirmations, when we read them, make sure you're feeling them and you're projecting them out into your reality so that it manifest. So guys, big upstairs stuff. Uh, I will do more as soon as my filtering system filters in all the big holy crap moments I had last night. Um, yeah, lots of energy big time stuff, give yourself compassion and grace, give yourself some self care and sending each and every one of you love, light, compassion, grace, shielding and protective energy. Please go into your heart space, go within, be the shoulder, be the lighthouse, see your truths, get your, get your muscles going. That's what I've been doing, working out. Self care is the best care. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Thank you. Bye for now. Blessings and grand rising, everybody. This is Allison from Alley Cat Creations. How are you? I want to thank my friend from Cali for the Hellraiser t-shirt because Hellraiser is their company and I'm just doing the Amish mindset and promoting it. Really comfy shirt. Um, go check them out if you're in California or anywhere. My friend Buddy Dog has a squeaky toy, so you're going to hear that in the background. Um, so I had a lot of channeling, a lot of downloads uh, the last few days. Like I said the other day, like momentous, big stuff. I'm still filtering it through, but I'm going to go back to yesterday's video. Word definitions. Empty words. There's a lot of influencers out there, a lot of political, spiritual, galactic people out there that are giving you their perception, their perspective, their 3D model, perhaps, maybe a little higher, of what they get. If there's agendas involved and narratives that are being seared, unbeknownst to them, because some people just channel and tell you what is going on and some people have agendas about it are you going within to know if that's a part of your paradigm are you walking emoting feeling all the words that you give definitions to are you elevating the definitions to what things mean love for example is a very freely used term word and we define it in so many different ways. We give it so many different definitions. But we need to find and fine tune that definition and bring it into our heart space. There's a lot of deception happening right now in the ether. Make sure you, if you are doing meditation and you're going within yourself to know who is speaking through you, who is channeling through you, if you do those things, make sure your field of energy is clear because I bet you a lot of people that are what is people that we watch and I watch a lot of people. 
they're not always being truthful and some of them are very egotistical in their lives they might not project it to you on the video camera the phone or the computer screen but there's a lot of ego and a lot of people are not in the ego death stage yet to drop that ego and they give you fanciful things to have hope for and deliver beautiful messages but do you know are you tapping into their energy field to know if that is correct for you it's just something to ponder it's not to disrespect or uh, say don't listen to certain people those people have a purpose in your life their messages have a purpose for you but tapping into self first is always what I do best are you tapping into yourself are you defining your words and walking it believing it emoting it in your field Are you just somebody that says empty terms just to gain an acceptance and following? These are the things that we need to start using our discernment. I don't like that word, but a lot of people discern, use discernment, so I'm using it. <clears throat> are you discerning what other people are telling you? Are you doing the work for yourself? Just some things to think about that's upstairs message they wanted me to really press that hard because a lot of people hold on to other people's sayings and not walk the walk, feel it, emote it. And I've done videos about this before. Just make sure you're going within and be really careful where you're getting your information from, who's giving you the information. Make sure you're tapping into the energy to feel if that person's intention is right. And we're in a spiritual war. So, sending each and every one of you love like a passion grease, shielding a protective energy. Please go within. Be the shoulder. Be the lighthouse. Seed your truths. And make sure you're doing the work to protect your, your field and your aura and yourself. Do the self work. And make sure you're starting to define your world differently and in a mature manner and elevate. And I hope to see you guys on the next one. Bye for now. Blessings and grand rising, everybody. This is Allison from Alley Cat Creations. Hmm. The storm. Has it come yet? Oh my gosh. Everybody's eyes are tuned in onto the computers, the televisions, the phones. Waiting for something that we might have to wait for later. In the meantime, what are you doing? The storm has already been here. It's just a movie unfolding out in front of you. Are you really going within? Are you aligning? The storm, the energy, it's been here. We've been upgrading for a very long time. As you hear nature behind me singing its symphony, the storm has been here. Now, regardless of whatever this interview is, it doesn't really phase me. I'm, I'm just supporting people. Um, the truth? But it, the truth is a frequency that's at the level of perception of where you're at. What happens if you already know the truth? What happens if you see the bigger picture already playing out? Just have stuff to ponder and think about. Where we're giving our energy to and what we're giving our energy to. As much as everybody's so excited to hear Elon and Trump talk and I'm not against any of them at all we already know what's going to happen to an extent it depends what timeline we shift humanity to 
And many of us are in different realities on different paradigms, living a different type of life, not worrying about any of this stuff because whatever is going to play out is, yeah, it affects us to a, a 3D sense. Ain't bringing my joy down. It ain't bringing my kitty time down. So make sure that you ponder these things. Where are you giving your energy to? Where are you giving your thoughts away to? I know. Allison, shut the fuck up already, bitch. Shut up. I don't want to hear it anymore. We already know what's going to happen. So, regardless of the results of whatever will happen, our choice now is to sit and take at that the world is upheaving. The world is purging. That is the storm. Guy is ascending. That's the storm. The X-class flares and the magnetic field is shifting. That is the storm. What else is the storm? Like everything that you can possibly imagine to perceive is your storm. I'm not trying to bring everybody's poo-poo party down. I know I got my laptop fired up with a bunch of amazing patriots on there watching, waiting, waiting. And I love them all. And it's not to take away from anybody or their experience. It's just to say, where are you giving your energy to? I'd rather be the one shifting, alchemizing, transmuting, and Helping actual people come together, because what do you do after a storm? A lot of us have been through storms. Are you prepared? If it really goes down, are you prepared? Because I bet you, you live where there is not many people who have stocked up and prepared for this. If that is the reality that the humanity chose to play out. Not many people. And you're not going to feed 100,000 people. I bet you, you don't have that kind of stock. You just got it for you and maybe a neighbor, and that's it. And that's what's going to last. So if we're looking at that way, the fear porn in that end, the storm's been here. Let's create a new world together. And we already know how this is going to play out. <laughs> Stop being in denial about it. Go within. Sending each and every one of you love, light, compassion, grace, shielding, and protective energy. Go within. Be the shoulder. Be the lighthouse. Seed your truths. And just enjoy the movie. Don't sit back. Do your work to show up. Action causes and has effects. So don't just sit there and watch her and eat your popcorn. Be productive. Bye for now. Blessings, everybody. This is Allison from Ellie Cat Creations. How are you? <sighs> I'm entering back into the matrix tomorrow. Um, even though the town I'm going to work for does not know how to communicate via email or phone call, they just think you're a mind reader and you're just going to show up at random um, and figure it all out on the first day. Yeah, that's my situation for tomorrow. But We as light workers have missions and sometimes that's to re-enter back into a matrix. It's to enter back in where we're holding frequency for the children who are upgraded, whose parents might not be aware of their power and their frequency and vibratory states. People that are sleepy as we deem it, there's going to be a lot of us being called back into these paradigms because that's our mission. That's our volunteer work. That's going back in and getting the children stabilized in the frequency. We also have to look at it on a patriotic scale. If things are supposedly going to calm down structurally in terms of how things are run, 
Sure, a lot of us are the game changers entering back in to make those changes actually occur. It's not like willfully letting everybody else do the changes. We're the ones that make the change. No one else. So this is what I'm talking about is like showing up and being active. I'm showing up and being active in the field of study that I'm very well acquainted with and something I'm very passionate about. We got to enter and change the structure of things so that it starts working for all and not just for a few. It's getting out of homeschool your kids. Well, not everybody has the opportunity to do such things and not all parents are competent in terms of a school day structure to teach their kids. And even if you go off the structure and you do your own thing, like kids need to have certain milestones met. Some kids don't have socialization. Some kids' home life isn't stable or happy. We, we label and put things in boxes and we need to stop doing that because every kid learns differently. Every adult doesn't have all the skills to be a teacher. I don't, it's up to you and what your structure of family life is should be your choice. Everything's gonna go back to the States anyway. And for you in the uh, other parts of the world, like keep it up. You guys are rocking in the educational field. I'm just excited I get to work with little kids, pre-K age, and I can't wait to be the ray of light for them. Please make sure you're the ray of light for other people. Please make sure that if you have a calling, don't think of it as the matrix and you're gonna get stuck in a prison. It's not the case. You're the game changer for that. And when you're listening to everybody else tell you, well, that will be feeding the system and da, 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 da. Are you paying my bills? Are you contributing to my life? Are you feeding me, putting food on my table? If not, you don't have a say in what I choose. So be the game changers, be the light. And for whatever you are called to do, it's okay to enter back into the matrix as long as you know that frequency right outside that door is high. And bringing the light in and anchoring that energy in so the kids who are limited in their options get to sit in your light in your field and mature and become the amazing beings that they're supposed to be sending each and every one of you love life for compassion and grace shielding and protective energy please go within be the shoulder be the lighthouse see your truths and we have a lot of changes to make in this world and our time is now in coming guys so stand up and take action and i'll see you on the next one bye for now blessings and grand rising everybody this is allison from ellie cat creations how are you walking in your empowerment are you walking in your confidence are you seizing the day? Many times when we start on new ventures, people tend to be anxious and shy away from what you already innately know. I know yesterday was my first day of work, but it's not a, it's a new place, but nothing new for me. And when we're venturing into the empowerment you have to walk with confidence. Be the lighthouse that you are meant to be and shine your light brightly because once those vibrations raise, this is the first time in a whole walking into a new place with new people that I didn't get criticized, negative speech, nothing negative. It was only positive and the last place I worked in New York, everything was very negative when I first walked in. I wasn't received very well. Not because I didn't have good vibrations. It's just the, the nature of the beast. But when you walk in your confidence, you walk in your 
knowing what you're doing, even if you don't. I There was a lot of unknowns for me yesterday. There was a lot of questions no one can answer. There was no communication. I just went with the flow and was the flow. And I had a fantastic day. I want to inspire those of you who are going back into the matrix to walk, even if you're not. I mean, you're just going about your day and just walking in the light. Be the light. A lot of these people need you right now. A lot of these kids, a lot of everything needs your energy right now in a way that you're not just freely giving it, but you're remoting it. It's naturally coming off of you. The world can't be a better place without you. So when you're walking around, walk with encouragement, walk in your empowerment, walk in your confidence. You have a big mission, and even if that's a silent one that no one else knows about, you know you're succeeding when you're walking and smiling and bringing the light with you. People don't know why, but I bet you people kind of pick up on it. So just a little bit of encouragement, walk in your light, walk in your empowerment, walk with your head held high, because you serve a hell of a huge purpose. And you know, for myself, walking into a new strange place and trying to figure it out was a little nerve wracking, but I didn't, I didn't walk down into a lower vibration. I just walked and kept walking higher. So I hope all of you are having a fantastic day. Sending each of you love, light, compassion, grace, shielding and protective energy Go within, be the shoulder, be the lighthouse, seed your truths, walk in your empowerment, walk in your light, be the confident, amazing person that you can be each and every day, show up for yourself, and make sure you have self-care, and I hope to see you guys on the next one. Bye for now. Blessings and grand rising, everybody. This is Allison from Ellie Crack Creations. How are you? Holding space. We're not, not all of us light workers are not necessarily here to wake any more people up. Just let's just be honest. We're exhausted. We're tired. But what we are here to do is hold space for people who are still unconscious, subconscious in their growth and development. Now, I've been challenged the last couple of days starting the new job and some people are very vocal about their political stance and stuff of that nature and obviously I'm just walking on cloud nine everywhere I go and shining the light on everybody and, and especially the children who are so activated. It is refreshing walking into a school where even the kids who cannot communicate, they're just beaming with energy and it feels amazing to feel the upgrades, to, to just be amongst kids that definitely totally vibe with me. It's beautiful. It feels great. But there's a lot, a lot of adults who are still under the programming spell, who are still in fear, who adamantly let the television and everything dictate to them how to feel and what to think. And that's both sides, by the way. That's not just one side. It's both sides. Divine neutrality is looking at both sides and being objective about both sides, not just the one side that you tend to lean towards. It's coming and looking at both sides objectively and ripping everything to shreds because let's face it, we have to come into an awareness that our programming that we have and instill are what we perceive in reality is also a side. And there are a lot of people 
who are very adamant about their one side. They're not willing to look at this side. They're not willing to even cope with this side. Doesn't matter what red pill, blue pill, don't matter. These people are still sleepy. But you're going to hold the compassion and you're going to hold the space for them because it doesn't matter if they're awake or not. You're going to be that person for when, if and when things go down into a blazing pit of fire, no matter what side it's on, and you're going to hold the, that, that light for them. You're going to be that reasoning soundboard for them. That's why so many of us are here. We are spread apart in so many different places around the world because we have patience and we have compassion and we're holding that love frequency and we're holding that light as we're jumping forward. Not everybody is going to agree with your viewpoint. But when you go within and you can objectively unwrap both sides, not just one side, both sides, and present logic and ration to people, it will get there. But right in the moment, right now, it's about holding the space, holding back a bit, and being mature about your responses. I was tested a lot today, and it's okay. I, I come in the middle in neutrality, and I sit well with being okay with whoever I am sharing a classroom with or a hallway with or a parking lot with or going into the store and he overhearing a conversation. It doesn't bother me anymore. It shouldn't bother any of you either. They're just doing them and to their highest extent, to their highest awareness. Our awareness might be up here, but we have to hold that compassion and grace for them and hold space because they might come back. So hold space, everybody, for those who will become a challenge, but a good in a good way. Sending everybody love, like a passion, grace, shielding, and protective energy. Please go within, all within. Be the shoulder, be the lighthouse, seed your truths, hold the space for others, because that's why a lot of you are here, is to hold the frequency and to hold the space. Till the next one, guys. Everybody seems to be mowing right now. It's very loud out there. I'll see you on the next one. Thank you for your support. Bye for now. Blessings, everybody. This is Allison from Alley Cat Creations. How are you? Um, reading the Law of One. <laughs> Once again, a lot of people want to know why you volunteered to be in third density. Why? Why did your soul choose to come here? I'm going to quote from Rob because it's very interesting. Quote, the advantage of time space is that of fluidity and the grand overview. That's the here and now. That is third, fourth density that is time space that's where we are in quote the advantage of space time is that working in darkness with a tiny candle may one may correct imbalance end quote being in this experience in this time space with limitation and separation allows us as we consciously raise our awareness to have an eagle eye view at the entirety to see the overview of all concurrent fluidity in ourselves to move into forgiveness and acceptance of what is happening to you, what has had happened to you in concurrency, because everything is simultaneous. You're looking in the present now to heal, to move forward. And how do we do that is by looking 
above at all situationals and forgiving ourselves, forgiving others, accepting what it is and moving forward, knowing that those things are things that our soul does not prefer. So we can move forward in our enlightenment, in our upraisement, in our ascension. When we have all this trauma, when we have all this chaos, we can only do so much in other densities to clear and to correct and balance. When we stick in the third, fourth density to divine neutrality, we are looking at both sides objectively. We can forgive and accept all that is in time, space. When we ascend, we get different challenges, different modes of catalysts to help us frame what our soul growth is. It's a lot harder in the higher densities to correct these imbalances. So this is what Ra is saying that in space time, you're not coming in as a lighthouse. You're coming in as this tiny candle and you're correcting imbalance through a very narrow lens of a little tiny light. So this is why a lot of us have been challenged. This is why a lot of us have picked this time of now to be here in this density and this vehicle is so that we can take a totality sense of clearing as much as possible in time space and go with the flow, be the flow, move past all the back and forth ping pong matches that we have so that we can come in at one mint with all things and see a bigger picture. So guys, sending each and every one of you love, like a passion, grace, shielding and protective energy. Please go within, be the shoulder, be the lighthouse, seed your truths. Please know that this is a difficult time for so many of us, but take it as this is an assignment we chose. We could do this. We could clear. We can forgive and move forward and do the best that we can to make balance happen. And Buddy Dog and Georgina are barking up a storm. So I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye for now. Blessings, everybody. This is Allison from Alley Cat Creations. How are you? Here's one of my creations. I make these beautiful organites. Check out my website, alleycatcreations211.com if you want to see all the artwork that I do. But I do a lot of this. Realms of the Living Dead. But I, the Curtises are amazing authors. Please find their work because it's fantastic. I do a lot of that reading on my YouTube channel. Poltergeists. I just read a section from Personal Survival by the Curtises on my channel. And although when they wrote their books, it was from the early turn of the century when the spiritualism movement was sweeping across the West. And a lot was said in that book amongst Realms of the Living Dead. A point that I made um, in the video is that we are still bound by 3 and 4D laws. We're on the chessboard. We're still having to move through this energy. We still have to deal with it. Even though many of us are in divine neutrality and stopped feeding both sides, because you're looking at both sides objectively and then choosing which one direction you're going in, we're not viewing these things as evil entities, the devil coming into your home and wreaking havoc. 
nine times out of ten, a poltergeist is somebody's thought form that is feeding off of energy and is creating havoc in your house or your home. PK manifestations, they are called in modern day. Make sure, even though you are in neutrality and you're not feeding energy anymore, I hope you're not, it's best to keep up with three, four D practices like saging or black salt or tar water or Florida water or incense walking around your property and thinking the ancestry that's there because goodness sakes, we don't know what we're buried under, what was built and what was here. I know for myself, I don't, I don't know, but I gave honor to the ancestors that inhabited this land. And I'm transmuting all the negative energy there within. Just because you're love and light and you are not feeding the energy doesn't mean that it can't affect you. All these things can affect you. They're attracted to your light. So make sure you're bubbling yourself. You're shielding yourself. You're doing things to protect yourself. That is the most important thing that you could be doing with your energy. If you're experiencing any activity, I know since I got Odin cat and Freya cat, my activity has lessened a ton and I don't kick any positive energy out. A lot of energy is just misplaced and needs a home to go to. So I send it off on its way. Many of us can do that by just envisioning the violet light or envisioning a vortex and calling out the angels and calling out whatever you call to, to pick it up so that it it's ascending because some energy does get trapped. Doesn't mean it's not in motion. It just means it's trapped. We've got to stop feeding the negative guys, especially younger children are the ones that really manifest these things and creates them. But that's also a home environment that's not healthy and a lot of ing aggression, anxiety, nervousness, fear will feed these things and it will manifest in poltergeist activity. So just be mindful. Even though you're doing neutrality, you're not feeding any sides, you're not feeding this anymore. That doesn't mean it still can't affect you or your family. So make sure you're taking the steps even though you're above this now. We still got to play the game a little bit longer. Protect yourselves, guys. Sending each and every one of you love, light, protection, grace, shielding, energy. Please go within. Be the shoulder. Be the lighthouse. Seed your truths. Be the ray of sunshine for somebody today. And thank you all for your support. See you on the next one. Bye for now. Blessings and grand rising, everybody. Even though it's probably night here. I hope everybody's having a beautiful and fantastic day. The energy is bonkers. And yesterday I posted a meme, which is saying that you can know something intellectually, but you're not embodying what you know intellectually, spiritually speaking. I thought it was a brilliant meme. Whoever made that, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I have to repeat myself constantly because people understand a concept spiritually, but they're not walking in it in their heart space to know it for themselves, to emote it in their field, to bring it out into the world. They only know it up here. They get it. They get the concept. They can explain things to me perfectly fine. But are you walking it? Are you talking your talk? Are you really just saying things to say them? Or do your words hold weight? When you know something intellectually, that's great. I know a lot of things intellectually. But I actually walk what I say. I actually... Emo what I do, what I say. I just don't say love and light and energy and protection and don't follow through with those practices. I don't say 
where we go when we go all, because it is all, not just who you choose, the whole SmackDown comes. Just because you want to favor one side over the other because you're not going to neutrality. You say these things, but you're not walking these things because your words hold weight. Your projections hold weight. Your words, your intentions hold weight. So don't say things if you don't mean them. That's one term that, oh goodness sakes, for all his source and for all his experience. And I could say this a million times, but until you go in and do the work to understand it, know it, and feel it for yourself, you ain't really grasping it. You get the concept. You understand spiritually a little bit, a little fractal of your awareness to the understanding of where you're at. But are you seeing a bigger picture? Do you understand how things work? I know a lot of people watch Bashar. I love Bashar. Are you embodying his advice? It's pretty good. Ra, Law of One, Quo, all, any one of the channels that you might listen to that I don't or I don't like mention. Are you actually taking in what they're saying and actually applying it to your life? If your answer is possibly, maybe, or I'm working on it, great. If not, you could spew all the intellectual, spiritual nonsense you want. It doesn't hold weight until your words hold the weight, until you emote the weight, until you bring it out and live it yourself. Make sure you're living up to what you're saying. Making sure that the concepts that you get from someone else or you're learning, you fully comprehend and take it in. Know it in your heart space. Know it in your alignment. And then walk it, talk it, emote it. Will to power it out. Otherwise, it's just empty words. A lot of people in art school sounded super smart. I went to art school. They talked out of their ass. Their work didn't show what they were talking about because, again, they're talking out of their ass with robotic language that sounded really intellectual. But no, the work didn't add up to what you were seeing from their words. It's same thing in a lot of different spheres of intellect. So make sure you're talking and feeling and emoting. And if you get a concept that you're not sure of, go in your heart space. Know it for yourself. Sending each and every one of you love like a passion, grace, shielding, and protective energy. Please be a shoulder. Go within. Be the lighthouse. Seize your truths. And I hope to see you on the next one. Thank you for your support. Bye for now.